Number 12. Write the symbol for each of the following ions. Okay, so we did this question way in depth in number 11, which is just one question back from this one. If this is your first time, go back to that question because we introduced formulas and this one will be more of a quick pace one. So if you guys are new, go back to that one and try that one first. But if you guys think you got this one, let's, let's give it a shot. All right, so we should know that ions is just a charged atom. So whether that's going to be negative or positive, that's okay, right? If it's a nitrogen with a negative three or a lithium with a plus one, they're both ions because they both have charges in the upper right-hand corner. Whenever we're writing our symbols, right, remember that it's the given element name. I'll just represent it as EL. And you have three things to mark up, right? The top right, the top left, and the bottom left. The top right, oh, sorry. Yes, I still need to learn my left or my right. <laughs> but the top left is always going to be your Z number, which is the mass number. All right, that's the bigger number. The bottom left is your atomic number. That's your A number, atomic number. And then, last but not least, the top right is your charge. So just like I wrote the negative 3 for the nitrogen and the plus 1 for the lithium in the top right corner, those are standard. You'll never put a charge nowhere else. It always goes in the top right. Okay. So let's give it out. Let's give it a shot, right? For A, it says the ion with the plus three charge, 28 electrons, and a mass number of 71. Okay, so I'm just going to write down here A, B, C, and D, just so that I have room. And let's get to it. The first thing we always got to worry about is we should always get the atomic number, right? Now, in this case, they didn't tell us what the atomic number was. And remember, the atomic number is just the number of protons. Now, if they don't specifically say it, we could easily find it by doing other formulas. We should know that the overall charge is always equal to the protons minus the number of electrons that you have. We have a minus in here because electrons are negative. So it's technically protons plus a negative electron, which means that it's subtraction. So here they did tell us that we had an overall charge of plus three. So plus three would equal the number of protons, which we're trying to solve for, minus the number of electrons, which is 28. So solve for P. You could erase P if you don't feel comfortable and just write an X because usually in math we solve for X but you just got to solve for X so you plus 28 on both sides and X which is the number of protons would be equal to 31 and that is your atomic number for A at least right so now you've got to scan the periodic table to find the 31 and the 31 is the whole number so here it is right here, and it's gallium. So I'm going to put GA. Now, when you're writing standard notation, the atomic number should be in the bottom left-hand corner, so 31 should be down here. Now, I just want to point out that on the periodic table of elements that they gave you in the book, the 31 is in the top right corner. So there are many periodic tables that give the atomic number in the top right, but there's also many periodic tables that give it to you in the bottom right. So sometimes you can see it flip-flopped in periodic tables, but when you're writing your standard notation, it should be Z on the top, the mass number, and A on the bottom. So that's how we're just going to format it here. So we got one out of the three, right? They told us, well, now we know that we have a atomic number of 31, Let's see, they told us that we had a plus three charge, so that goes in the top right corner. You could say plus three, you could say three plus, it does not matter. And now we just gotta find the mass number. What's the formula for mass number, guys? Mass number is always equal to 
number of protons plus number of neutrons. So here, I'm just going to simplify it by saying P plus N. Simple as that. Now here, they told us that they, they gave us, they gave us a mass number of 71, so we don't even have to do that. So 71 just goes boop, straight up here, box this answer off, that's the first answer, guys. A is done. B. Now we want to find an ion with 36 electrons, 35 protons, 45 neutrons. We always want to find that atomic number first, and that's the number of protons. In this case, they did give us protons, 35. So I got to look and scan the periodic table for 35. And that is right here. So that's bromine. So I will write BR bromine. The 35 goes down here. Now we just got to fill in the other two slots. Um, they didn't give us a mass number in this case, but we could find it out by protons plus neutrons. So in this case, it would be 35 protons plus 45 neutrons will get me the mass number, which is the Z number. So this would be 80. So that's the number that goes on the top. Last but not least, we got to find the charge. They didn't tell us a charge specifically, but we know that the overall charge is protons minus electrons. So protons is 35 minus electrons, with this, which is 36, and you should get a negative one overall charge. So that goes in the upper right-hand corner. Minus one, one minus, or just adding a negative like that, it all means negative one. So doesn't matter, box your answer off. That's for B. We are doing good here. C, the ion with 86 electrons, 142 neutrons, and a plus four charge. Okay, first let's find that atomic number. We should always be able to write down the element first. They didn't tell us the protons, they didn't tell us the atomic number, so we gotta find it out by using this formula again, overall charge equals protons minus electrons. In this case, they gave us an overall charge of a plus four. So plus four, actually, let's see, I have some room down here. I'll write it by C, plus four equals Number of protons, which we don't know, so I'll label that as X, minus number of electrons, which is 86. And then we just do our simple adding on over, get the X to one side, so X equals 90. That's our number of protons, aka the atomic number, so this is our A number. And now I scan my periodic table for number 90, and 90 is P, oh, oh that's not 90. Christina, I'm, I might need to get my eyes checked. Number 90 is thorium, all the way down here. You see? Number 90, right? So TH, so I'm just going to write this in this, TH and 90 on the bottom here. Now let's find our mass number. So we have 142 neutro neutrons, we have 90 protons, so... Mass number equals protons plus neutrons. So 90 plus 142 would get us our mass number. So that's 232. And that's what goes in the top left, 232. And now we just got to get the charge. But in this case, they told us the charge, right? It was a plus 4. So plus 4, 4 plus, does not matter. Box that answer off. That is your C answer. And then last but not least, an ion with a plus 2 charge, an atomic number of 38, and a mass number of 87. This one, they gave us all the good stuff. So we first got to find out what the element is, and that always comes from the atomic number, 38. So I'm going to scan for 38. Let's see. Here it is. Strontium, 38. So I'm going to say SR, and the atomic number goes on the bottom, so 38. They told us the mass number was 87, so that goes up on top here. And they gave us the charge plus 2, so 2 plus plus 2, it does not matter, but that would be your answer to 
D. All right, guys, we did it. Awesome job. Um, if this helped, click the subscribe button. You get tons more questions coming your way. That would be pretty cool. Um, and it would help you guys out a lot as well, I would think. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.